Sub nerds, Wired here, and of course we are back playing Dragon Age 2. Uh, so welcome to the Dragon Age 2 walkthrough slash guide. Uh, last night we got pretty early Act 2. We didn't do that much because we went over a lot of new tactics and abilities and things like that. Uh, so right now what we are going to do is we're going to be doing this quest, Night Terrors. This is an important quest because you have 10... Yes, ten attribute points up for grabs here. You come. And now However, you are going to have to side with the demon like for the uh, or... for six of them. You have been... And if you want to build an optimal character, you will have to side with that demon. I came quick. Dreamers have the power to control the beyond, what humans call the Fade. Fainreel is the first... Alright, Elf Lady, shut up already. Time. Come on. Alright. There is more, I must tell you, that is not... I think you get to choose your party before you go in. Will make I... I... Can I come? I admit... Let... Now, the best way, unless you want, like, uh, people to turn on you and stuff, uh, it really doesn't affect anything, but it does let you get, uh, friendship or rivalry points later on. You really don't need that crap. You're not interested in that. You're interested in the stats. And this will save you a bunch of rivalry points. Because if you do side with the demon, a lot of people get pissed off. Be ready. Let's do this quest real quick. Uh, the bosses in here should not be very intimidating for you. Especially even by yourself at this point. Uh, they don't have a lot of hit points and my rogue like three shot at them. Or one shot at them or something stupid. Assassinate and dead so I'm not too worried about not being able to kill these guys. Alright in this first area there's a flying book as you see. And for reading that book, you get one attribute point. Now over here, there is a puzzle. Now, I don't remember how to do this puzzle, but I'm going to figure it out. Alright, you gotta basically uh, move the barrels and try to get the three barrels on the bottom on top. So we're just going to do it like this, I guess. I believe this is the right way to do it. Uh, use your D-pad. That will help you choose the barrels faster. You can also pause the game. Like you pause combat, and you can use that to manually target uh, whatever barrel you want. But I found the D-pad to be faster. I don't know if it's the same on Xbox, but it probably is. Alright, there we go. We just got another attribute point for that, so we should have two. Yes, sir. Alright. Now, if you don't get that right, you have to fight a bunch of shades, and I don't suggest doing that by yourself. Alright, this one looks a lot harder, but it's really not. Uh, this one's actually easier. I believe. Uh, what you do with these barrels on the side doesn't matter. You can do whatever the hell you want with them. All you want to do is get these four barrels in the front here. Like so. That's how it should look. Uh, these are hints. That's how I figured it out the first time. Uh, just do this the same way. Ugh. Okay. Just do this the same way. You do have a limited amount of moves, so try not to waste them. Oh shit, what'd I do wrong here? I think I just epic failed. I don't know, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm just ass backwards at this point. Okay, here we go. So 
Simple as that. This gives you another two stat points. Bam. Okay, so we just got two more. That puts us at four stat points. Now, you can just walk with this if you want. As you can see, I got my four stat points here. Take a look at our, our current build. Uh, we're not going to spend these points just yet because I want to spend all ten at the same time. So it's easier for you guys to follow. This is all empty. This is all empty. Now, you don't have to get these six stat points. A lot of people don't like to do that, but I like to optimize my character, meaning I want him to be the best he can be. So if I have to deal with some demon to do so, I'm going to do it. I have a purpose. I trust I'd be no threat to your world. We are to bring me fame, and I will grant you anything you ask. Power, magic. As for power, that's six stat points. Uh, knowledge, you only get one uh, skill point. So you get one level worth of uh, skill points, or you can get two levels worth of stat points. So I always go with the stat points. But pick whatever you want more. Some people like to have the extra skill point for some reason. You're going to have plenty of skills by the end of the game. In these rooms, you're going to have to talk to these demons while Fenriel stands there like a retard. Uh, I, here we go. I don't know what to say. This is a trick. First enchanter? Mother... Why would she untrap... You... But... You told me this magic was outlawed for a reason. Could... Uh, could you trap... Don't listen to it. Trying to keep me from temptation. Just be gone, fiend. Boy only wants his freed. You took my dreamer. Now. I will. Like I say, you don't have to worry about not killing these guys. They're not tough. Okay. Simple, simple stuff. Uh, just do the same thing to the next one. have much trouble with this dude I and mean, you hit really hard so good to go same thing on this one you want to convince him that this dude's a liar so just pick the two top ones Now we go talk to uh, Fenrail. Obviously, if you don't want to deal with demons, you would just uh, you would choose to save Fenrail at the end. <laughs> I really have nothing invested in Fenrail, so I don't really care. I know I'm playing a pure Paragon playthrough, but uh, yeah, six stat points, too much to pass up. What's happening? Wait, I know you. You saved me from those slavers. Yes. Tired. Now I have the power of the dreamer. Return to your mortal realm. Like I said, some people don't like to deal with demons. <laughs> I'm cool with it. I don't care. All right, so we're gonna have a nice fat ten points. I'm sorry. Uh, when we get back, so. I was, what do you? No. I see on your face it is worse. He gave in to the demons. Did he oh, he's totally a monster. I tried my best. <laughs> uh, what a dick move.
All right, here we go. Fat 10 attribute points. Where's it at? There you go. All right, so you can pretty much do whatever the hell you want with these attribute points. Uh, there's really no wrong way to put them in <laughs> your gear. Uh, you can go all strength if you want. I'm definitely going to buff my strength up pretty high. And the rest will go in constitution. Willpower is fine at 18 right now. You're going to want around 21 to 22 toward the end game, around level 20. But you have to remember, the more you put into willpower, the uh, higher your damage with Berserker will be. Because it is based off your remaining stamina. Alright, let's get our party back. Just go into Meryl's house. Get your party back. So not much effort for 10 uh, attribute points, huh? I really didn't break a sweat. Alright, here we go. Let's get our party back. And they're none the wiser. They have no clue we dealt with the demon. I'm not sure if there's new codexes in Oh, codexes in here. We're gonna check, but... I can't be 100% sure on it, but whatever. I'm guessing no, considering nothing is highlighted up. Alright, let's get out of here. By the dragon. Okay, so after dealing with demons and getting our fat loot, 10 attribute points, uh, Repentance, Prime Suspect. Now remember, uh, journeying back to areas you've already been does reward you in this game. Like, if we go back to the Bone Pit now, you do get rewarded for this. You'll get quests, and you'll also be able to access some dungeons that you would normally not get to go into. Or that the story would not take you to. So it's always smart to uh, pretty much just do a double check. Check the areas you've already been to, even if they're not uh, story related. They're here for a reason. So, 